Hey there, this is Mel. Today I'm gonna do a quick way to cook uh, sticky rice. I will uh, share with you because today I can use some sticky rice. Uh, I don't cook a lot, uh, but uh, you know, just, just myself. John doesn't eat that that often. So I just cook a small amount. So what I'm gonna show you, you can make it more or less. But basically, uh, it's really not that hard. Uh, so I will show you in just a few minutes. Normally, um, I cook quite a lot if uh, our grandkids or our daughter or son coming over. Uh, you know, they like sticky rice also. So uh, I'm happen to be uh, kind of hungry for it. So I might have that tonight with some uh, chicken wings. That's my favorite, one of my favorite. So, and then maybe some hot sauce. Uh, we'll do that. And so, uh, so anyway, let's get to the uh, sticky rice uh, process. So I'm gonna show you a uh, way to cook it uh, fast. It's basically about 10 minutes. And uh, I got this uh, quick cooking for my daughter. So uh, usually the old traditional way takes much longer. We usually soak the rice uh, overnight and then, uh, you know, do the um, do the uh, cooking in the morning, which steam, but with the uh, rice cooker now that you can, can just get from the market, you can do any time. But, you know, if you have a lot, probably 15 minutes cooker is actually pressure cooker. So, don't even have to do anything. Also, a long time ago, when I was a kid, we have uh, jasmine rice uh, that we cook same way, kind of like a long process, just the way they used to do. We didn't have any uh, electric, uh, you know, appliance, things like that. Everything's pretty much manual. So, but here's my uh, sticky rice as, you know, dry version right now. So what I'm gonna do here, is that I'm gonna run some water into it. I rinse it once, okay? Gonna rinse this once, okay? And then uh, afterwards, drain that one out just to get it at all the cloudiness and some dust, you know, uh, out. And then we're gonna add some more water and I'll show you how it is next, okay? Here it is. I add water in here, actually, just to rinse off some dust and dirt and process in the meal, rice meal. All that shell come off, there be some in there, so I just wanna make sure this is a little bit clearer on this uh, water here. So we're gonna drain this off. So I am adding water in here and uh, so basically, you see the water in here, right? You cannot see real close. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you on this cup. This is rice, sticky rice, okay? In a dry form, so. So. Same thing, you rinse this after the first wash. Add it again. You have this uh, uh, water in here, right? So like so. You put your finger in here, right? You can see now because this is a glass that you can see where my finger is. With the water in there, you put your finger in here, a knuckle where you measure from the top of that rice, right? A knuckle. That's how I measure, all right? So I said about an inch, okay? Because everybody have different size knuckle. So one inch is above that rice after you add the water in there, right? So I'll um, put this in here because they're gonna go all together in here. So, I have rice in here, been washed once, okay? Drain off, and then uh, doesn't have to be totally 
dry out. There will be some water retaining in there. And uh, you add water in there, put your uh, finger in, an inch, just like I show in that clear glass. So once that's done, you take the pot, okay? To the rice cooker. I'm gonna bring the camera over so you can see it. So from here, I am going to do power up, right? And then just white rice. Just as I, just as I cook the jasmine, okay? And we'll come back and take a look at that one to puff that rice once it cook. Okay. Actually cook now and uh, by let the steam out, make it a little more firm instead of, a, you know, too, uh, too soft. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wet this paddle and kind of loosen up a little bit. Okay. It could be a little sticky if you have too much uh, water in here. In this part, right now, I puff it up and I'm gonna let it sit for a little while. And uh, uh, basically, that's about it. You can use this for, um, with any uh, with any ditch, uh, Thai ditch, or you can do this as a dessert with uh, coconut milk and uh, uh, some sugar. Or you can do a sticky rice mango. And uh, we have that recipe uh, in our cookbook. If you are one of our students, you probably have that too in that cookbook. So delicious. I love this sticky rice. In uh, Northern Thailand, Chiang Mai, uh, we actually have this uh, first first meal of the day, uh, pretty much uh, sticky rice. To the Bangkok, Thailand, they do uh, cooked jasmine pretty much all day long, uh, all three meals. So for Chiang Mai, this is uh, pretty much, you know, first meal. So, yeah. Easy to handle, you can eat this with, you know, anything you like. And that's what we're gonna have tonight. Uh, John probably gonna have a little bit of this tonight. I'm gonna do a chicken wings and then this and probably some uh, fried eggs. So, so hopefully uh, you give it a try.